breaks my heart to see that Michael Jackson once again can't be at peace even after his passing with this documentary now out. I was signed to his label from 1993 to 97 and I was 12 years old when I was signed and we had the choice of labels owned by Madonna, Prince or Michael Jackson. We went with Michael Jackson and at the time they were, that was when the allegations um, came out and not once did my overprotective parents ever feel unsafe or have any doubts. You know, the experience that we had with him and, and the label was one of you know, love and professionalism and trust and you know, he really supported um, my, you know, the family values that we had and encouraged us to, to stay together when we travelled because um, they knew how dark the industry could be. And I met him twice. Once um, I was uh, playing black and white with him in New York City and the final dress rehearsal, um, we're playing like the last eight bars and he hit the ground and he passed it. I thought it was part of the show, but he, he, um, he was out cold and taken away on a stretcher and the show was cancelled because he was so depleted and broken down. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful. I had so many amazing experiences under MJJ. And, you know, I suppose it just it makes me sad that this documentary has come out of all times um, after he's passed away and when he's not around to defend himself. And, the, the, you know, the family uh, are going to have to go through all that and I'm really hoping that they have the right type of people and support around them to get them through it. Um, I just wanted to share the love and, and to any of you guys who are sort of open to the information, just be aware of um, how seductive... Um, uh, film can be.